Hi, I'm Phil, and in this video, we're going to have a look at the map function. The map function is useful for scaling one variable from an input range to an output range. Let's have a look at what that looks like. Let's say I start with a variable x. It's a float, which means that it has a, a decimal point. Let's say that x originally sits on a scale from 0 to 3. But let's say we want to translate that to a scale from 0 to 10. Now, this is pretty easy to figure out. If this is 1.5 here, uh, on a scale of 0 to 10, it's 5. But what happens if these are really odd numbers, like, for example, instead of scaling from 0 to 10, I want to scale it from minus 4.2 to positive 6.7. I, I could figure this out myself, but it's much easier for a computer to do that than it is for me. So what I'm going to do is use the map function. This takes x, which is the first parameter here, and it changes it from the first scale, 0 to 3, to my output scale. You might want to think about this is a little bit like if I had three dots here, on some kind of piece of elastic and I grabbed this piece of piece of elastic and I stretched it in one direction everything's going to stay in proportion the distances between the dots are going to be the same relative to each other and relative to either end of the piece of elastic so we can see that the halfway point between these these two numbers just happens to be 1.25. This is really useful if, for example, we have some kind of data, some value that we've loaded in, and we want to use it to draw to the screen. So we can see that this ellipse appears to be in the middle of the screen. So if I change the value of x, that will move over. So if this, for example, was on a a scale from 0 to 24, so maybe it's the hour in the day. We can see how that will change. So this is the input scale and this is the output scale. We can also use map to, re to squash a value from one to another. So this canvas is a currently 100 pixels wide, so we're scaling our value of x from 400. Let's make it for 30. 437, it's scaling it from 0 to 1000 and changing it down from 0 to width. So that's like we're taking our piece of elastic and we're somehow unstretching it. So all these points will still be in the same proportion. Also, if we need to perhaps switch the direction for some reason, we can do that too. We can see here that zero, a number close to zero, becomes close to the maximum value of width, which is over this side of the sketch, and a number close to a thousand will be back over close to zero. This is like not only getting our piece of elastic and stretching it, but also stretching it the other direction, or flipping it the other direction as well. So it can change it to a specific size, but also flip its direction by swapping around the these two values here, these two values on the range of the output. So there you go. This is a very helpful uh, piece of code that you will hopefully get to see and use uh, quite a lot.